today is a very exciting day for me. For me, not for anyone else. Today is all about Emmanuel, and I'm really, really excited. Today we're celebrating her baby shower. Woo! Yeah. This is what she's always wanted in her life. Her own little family. I'm so excited for her. If anyone deserves this, it's Em and Chris. Let me tell you a little bit about Em. We met about 11 years ago at Chase Bank. We hit it off. Like, I'm just so blessed we've come this far and we've been able to celebrate all these ups and downs together. I'm so excited to shower her with love, attention. I cannot wait. It's about an hour drive. Why did you move so far away? Story time. Funny little story about M. She's very persistent. She gets what she wants. So I'm laying in bed. I don't want to do anything on a Saturday. She messages me and she's like, yo, let's go I'm skating on the canal. And I'm like, mm, not my jam, thanks. And she's like, no, we're gonna go skating on the canal. I am telling you right now, not happening. I don't do things. Messages me for like 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, listen, I'm not having this conversation with you anymore. Things go quiet for like a solid uh, hour knocking at my door who is that yo i'm at your door let's go i already told you i'm not going outside we're well i'm not leaving i came all this way to get you to go outside with me 20 minutes later i'm on on the canal walking in the freezing cold with M. we're having a blast she just like took me out when i told her no and this is like literally our relationship all the time anything i don't want to do and she wants to do she's like I'm gonna make this happen and you're gonna do it and you're gonna love it and I always love it. I'm so thankful for having that kind of peer pressure in my life because honestly, like, I don't do shit. Sometimes you just need that kind of person in your life to be like, you're gonna love this and you're going to do it and you're going to enjoy it. Kind of like how I was raised with my parents. Fast forward like five, six years later, I'm like, yo, you gotta join this OSSC team with me. Let's put together a baseball team and, and just have a good time. We don't know how to do any sports. We don't know how to play any sports. And she's just like, what? No, I can't do that. I'm too shy. I'm like, no, you have to. You have to do this with me. Well, guess what? Now, I'm not doing it anymore like freaking six years after that. She's still putting teams together. And guess what? That's where she met Chris. Oh my God, I set them up. Legit, think about this for a second. I forced her into sports. She fell in love with the sport that I introduced her to. And now she's setting up her own sports teams with Chris that she met at OSSC, fell in love, asked him, Will you be mine for the rest of my life? And he was like, heck yeah, baby, you're so fun. So basically, I set them up. I'm a matchmaker. That's the life of being our um. I, I, she probably already knows this. I don't think I need to tell her this, that I'm the matchmaker, but hmm, maybe I should put it in her baby shower card. Let her baby know. I'm the reason why you're born. Basically, I'm the reason why you're born. If it wasn't for me setting your mommy and daddy up together, you would never be born. Wow. Em, you deserve this day. You're truly one of a kind, but don't take that from me. Here's what everybody else thinks. The best word to describe Em is stylish. Genuine. Fantastic. Bubbly. Caring. She's unique. Bold. Authentic. Lively. Excitante. Toute pleine d'énergie. Fabulous. Kind. She's nice. Sweet. Loving. Loyal. Sweet little girl. The love of my life.
job! Yeah. Oh, it's so cute!